Hi there, Louise here from Louise Ella Nutrition. Today I wanted to share with you a video about the effects of the diet culture and weighing yourself. So I am just dead against this diet culture. I, it does not work, it, um, you know, the dieting, there's all these different diets that are constantly coming out that say all these things, you know, lose all this weight, you know, within like however many days, but really, it just doesn't work. You end up putting all the weight back on. Then you've got counting calories and weighing food, which is just not sustainable and totally restrictive. So um, I just find there is such a better way to lose weight and you know lead a healthy lifestyle in a way that is sustainable, and that's through changing your eating habits. But when it comes to weighing yourself and measuring and tracking progress, it's the same as counting calories and weighing your food. There are there are just better ways of doing it. Um, weighing yourself can cause you to feel disheartened. It can um, hurt your self-esteem and confidence. And sometimes, you know, if we um, are weighing ourselves at different times of the month or different times of the day, or we're wearing different things, that can affect weight um, so much as a little as 250 to 500 grams. Um, so one day you might be one and a half kilos down or the next day you might be two kilos in, um, up and you're like, what's going on? And you feel like what you're doing is not working. Um, so some great ways instead to try and work out, like if you're wanting to lose those extra kilos and you're wanting to measure yourself, a great way to do that is by looking at or finding some clothes that fit perfectly right now. So you're like, okay, these jeans and this whatever top this is it fits me perfectly then you know change your eating habits and you know eat healthy foods exercise do whatever it is you need to do to lose those extra kilos and then put those clothes on you know one or two months later not the next week or the week after because weight um, loss can be um, what do they call it it's like delayed onset so you could be doing a couple of months worth of hard intense exercise and eating really well um, you know, not a couple of months, but maybe a month or something, and you'll find you're losing a few kilos, but then it's not as much as you thought, but then when you keep going, you lose a lot more than what um, you initially did. Because it takes the body time to release that fat. It doesn't just happen when we think it's gonna happen. So a great way to, you know, give yourself some time, make those changes, and then put those clothes back on, like a month or two months later, and then see, is it looser? you know and that gives you an indication you know and if you're able to go from say a 14 to a 12 then you know you've lost a whole size there but measuring yourself um, in you know via centimeters in you know and then scales as well it's you know it's just such a it's not the best way of doing it and a better way which doesn't hurt your self-esteem and confidence is just by assessing through clothes so if you would like some help with changing your eating habits so you can lose those extra kilos in a way that is simple and easy plus sustainable. Um, I run an evening and weekend clinic in Darwin and as well as an online clinic for those clients interstate which is done via video or phone. So um, yeah, I just wanted to share those tips with you. I'll talk to you later.